I'm really hyped up for this product right now, guys. So here we are. Let's go ahead and get things started. And uh, let's continue. Let's see if this little baby here, like I said, is worth it or not. Hey, what is up, guys? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today with another car dongle unboxing and review. This is the Carlin Kit T-Box Plus, and I got it from Amazon. As a matter of fact, it was Carlin Kit, the company itself, that reached out to me and said, well, Jay, we want to send you this unit for review. It is a lot faster. It is a lot more powerful. And of course, guys, I didn't hesitate to say yes. Right now, I have a dongle, which is a non-Carlin Kit brand. According to them, this one performs 33% better than anything that they have released, or at least the previous model of this one. So that's a big promise, guys, and I am looking forward to it. Also, this one has a 4G modem inside, so you can use it with companies like uh, T-Mobile, uh, Metro, uh, you name it. Any company that uses a SIM card, including Verizon, you can use it with this little box. So here to read some of the specifications, again, it is a full Android system, which is Android 11. It comes with the Qualcomm uh, processor, which is the 6125 quad core. It comes with eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Now this, like I said before, and I'll keep repeating it guys, your car has to come already with factory wired CarPlay in order for this to work. If not, then this is not going to be supported. You cannot use this with aftermarket radios and so on. And uh, yes, we're gonna test this now on or any future box that I get. It's gonna be tested with the uh, Toyota Highlander and every future box that I get will be tested with that vehicle, guys, before I had to borrow my brother's cars. And uh, well, that's no longer a issue. So right here, we can see looking at the box that again, it supports 4G. Uh, this thing, based on certain videos that I've seen, is quite small, which is great. You don't want a big box just dangling around inside of your car. So these are the manuals. They seem to be in English and also uh, Chinese. So that's cool. And apparently it does support a micro SD card as well and SIM cards. So this is a nano size SIM card. I see in some of these boxes where they only support the uh, micro, which is obsolete by now. And so as always, we just get USB A to USB-C cable and then USB-C to USB-C and that's the typical that's all we get inside and here we have the box wow this thing is tiny I have to tell you that right now my hands are not the biggest and right here you guys can see that it fits in the palm of my hand and it does have some tiny little holes at the bottom so that it vents right here guys we have the USB-C uh, port along with the nano SIM card slot. Now I think this is the first time I see a slot for a nano. I've seen a slot for micro and the regular size SIM cards, which is like old school stuff, but I never seen something that you can just press it in uh, for nano SIM cards. That's the first. And then here we have the one for the micro SD card as well. And then on the top here, we have the LED lights with that Carlin kit logo. So again, very cool looking little box right here. Also, it gives you all the uh, or the little pictures here for what goes on these slots. So it tells you if it is the nano SIM or the micro SD card. So let's go to that Toyota Highlander, test it out and see how this thing works and if it's worth it or not, guys. Well, guys, it is a little bit chilly here today and we have this uh, Highlander all set up and ready to go. We will be using here my visible SIM card with this device as well. And we do have a little SD card, 128 gigabytes, just to test it and see if this thing really works as they claim. I'm really hyped up for this product right now, guys. So here we are. Let's go ahead and get things started. And uh, let's continue. Let's see if this little baby here, like I said, is worth it or not. Well, in this case, we will do the testing a little bit different when it comes here to this vehicle, which is the Highlander, just because of the fact that every make out there is a little different when it comes to booting up. And it wouldn't be fair to count the time from when the car starts 
it'll be better if I just simply plug it into the USB port and then count and see how long it takes for this to boot up and actually show up here on this radio with the Toyota Highlander and many other models that already come equipped with wired CarPlay and wired Android Auto well right here you're going to have a screen that detects anything that you connect via the USB cable so this is the dongle right here guys like I said it is ready to go now the one that I was using previously was called or it is called the car PC this is the stream box and it is great as well this one also has the 4G capabilities but in terms of size you can see the difference and this one is not as capable as this little one right here so I did already connect it the sim card now unfortunately guys with this sim card it is not reading the device i think i had to get a dedicated sim card for something like a hotspot so that it works with these uh, devices i think that's why i am not getting a signal is because this is a smartphone sim card or for a mobile device and this is considered more like a hotspot device and for that reason i am not getting a reception it does read it however but I think I just have to get a different service for right now in this video we will be using the Wi-Fi but you will also see that it is in fact reading the uh, SIM card and I did install my 128 gigabytes SD card on there so now what I'm going to do is turn on here just for demonstration purposes is to turn on here my um, timer and see how long it takes guys for when I plug it in in which we're gonna be doing that right now and when it's read here by the vehicle so one two three there we go and I believe it takes uh, anywhere between I don't know like 15 20 seconds approximately and that's after the vehicle has started I can see the lights already guys so now it has been about 16 seconds let's see there we go so stop it took about I don't know by the time I stopped it about 20 seconds or so and sometimes it does a little better I am not sure I don't understand what makes it sometimes boot up a little bit faster but the best that I got was about 17 seconds and well they advertised it between 10 15 seconds it is a little off guys but I can tell you for certain that it is a lot faster than any of these other little dongles that I tested in the past so just keep that in mind uh, this is the user interface for this particular one it has full Android 11 as I explained before as well so if you go here into settings then this is all we get for settings let's go here into more and on more let's go on storage right now you guys can see that between the internal SD card and the um, and the memory of the device itself we have about 256 gigabytes available which is quite a bunch guys look at this here we can confirm that in fact it does have 128 gigabytes and if we go here at the bottom to where it says system and then let's see here let's find about device so about so after clicking on about we go all the way to the bottom here you guys can see right there that we have Android 11 check this out guys so again that's very very convenient we know that the newer the operating system is the more application support we get with these devices also I am connected here to the Wi-Fi using my home's uh, network and I'm about I don't know maybe 40 50 feet away from the house and uh, or at least the Wi-Fi router and this is getting great reception guys which is absolutely awesome also we have connected via Bluetooth which is um, which is needed to connect to wireless CarPlay which we're going to test here in just a second so if you go here into Bluetooth you can see right there it is called AutoKit T-Box Plus which is this model and we are currently connected so it comes with some pre-installed applications right out of the box so we get the messaging uh, this is perfect for when you have a sim card that actually works you can use it as a uh, mobile phone then we have the bluetooth phone that's for when you are connected to your personal device we have maps like i said we have the phones app directly now this is why i don't understand why the sim card is not being read on here i tried two different ones 
And as you guys can see, we get the little uh, icon for the signal. I don't know if maybe I'm in a spot that is just completely dead and I'm not getting reception. That could be it. But if I get an update on this, I'll make a separate video about it, guys. But the good news is that, yes, it is as advertised, meaning that it reads the SIM card. So getting back here to the pre-install applications, we get Bluetooth Music. Then we have the Settings app. Now here's where things get a little bit more exciting. We do have a working uh, Play Store in which I already have logged into it. And you guys can see that it is uh, fully functional. You can download games here as well if you please. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, this is a radio, not a smartphone or a tablet. So I just don't do it. And besides that, the um, touchscreen here, it's not the most sensitive out there. So for that reason, I don't think that playing games is a good idea. Uh, you can download things like TikTok on here as well, which again is another plus. Uh, we do have gallery and there's a few pictures on here. So this is almost like a, um, you know, it converts it basically into a tablet, your car. But again, you have limitations in terms of the screen itself. Now, uh, we already saw that, again, Play Store works. All that is working perfectly well. Of course, we get YouTube. Now, it came pre-installed already with a Netflix application in which I would recommend not removing it or updating it. If you do update it, then you won't have the ability to log in it'll log you out that's because this is a hacked version of netflix meaning that it has been tweaked to trick the system into believing that this is either a smartphone or a tablet and that you are allowed to use it so yes don't update it when you first open it it'll ask you just click on cancel and then do your regular login and you should be good to go guys let's just go ahead and play here anything let's say this right here and there we go guys you can see how quick it is compared to other dongles that we have tested in the past let's play this one here real quick i mean you can see how quick it works i've had it to where it takes sometimes a few seconds before uh, you can actually use it let's just open here another one let's click on play and you can see guys this is all thanks to that qualcomm processor in which i already showed you guys uh exactly i think it's the 6125 so there we go. And like I said, guys, everything here is as advertised. We do have this little assistive touch. This is needed because you don't have the home key and the back key and all those key. Uh, you don't have them on the actual system. You have to do it through this assistive touch that comes already enabled. You don't have to enable this at all. But now what I will give you a demo about is going to be the wireless CarPlay. So what I will do here is go into my timer. I'm going to reset it. And now I will open AutoKit and show you guys how long it takes. I did already connect it here to Bluetooth. If you see, uh, it is in blue. So in three, two, one, there we go. So it says waiting, connecting, and then it takes just about, I don't know, it's supposed to be five seconds, honestly. But I'm not sure if they refer to the connection here of the CarPlay to be 10 or 15 seconds. Maybe I'm getting it confused. I thought that was the booting time. But I think, guys, that after I tested the boot time, which was about 22 seconds, and that's not bad at all. I think that they're referring to 10 and 15 seconds to the connection wirelessly between CarPlay and your phone wirelessly. And yes, it took about 13.77 seconds. Sometimes it is a little bit faster and I will show you that here right now. So let's go back here into the home screen. Now let's kill the application. All right, let's go back here into AutoKit and let's do the same thing. So one, two, three, there we go. It says waiting, connecting and boom. Now it took about 6.5 seconds so it does get faster i just want to show you that here uh, or wanted to show you that uh, everything is working great when it comes to uh, carplay i don't have any issues whatsoever it works almost the same as if i had it plugged in to the car which is really really impressive when i do these car dongle reviews many people ask me about the lag of the music and yes, guys, there is lag on pretty much anything that's wireless. This is not wired. If you guys don't want any lags whatsoever, I would definitely recommend to have it plugged in at all times. 
Now with this box here, the Carlin Kid, the Plus box, this one doesn't have as much lag as other ones. Like if I use the Car PC Stream box, it has a much greater uh, lag. So here, let's go ahead and play this song by Shakira. So I just played it. And the lag is actually on the music itself. Because if you look, when I pause it, it is almost instant here as well. But I paused it and then there was like about maybe second, second and a half of delay. So you guys can see what I mean. Let's top it again. But now the communication between the response of the button itself is almost instant here on the radio and the smartphone. So it is actually reacting quite fast is the audio that is taking a little bit longer so if i skip this you guys can see how fast that was okay if i skip it again you guys can see that it's almost instant you can't deny the fact that this is one of the fastest one in the market right now and it's all because of that processor guys with this being said we have now successfully completed here the unboxing the setup and the review of the carlin kit t-box plus like I said, guys, it is a monster when it comes to performance. I love the fact that it is a lot smaller in size and that it has so much power at the same time. I mean, if you look at this thing, you would think that it costs about, I don't know, 50 bucks just because of the size of it. But when you see the performance, when you actually test it on your vehicle, you will notice the difference. And that's a promise, guys. This thing is really, really cool. And well, if I can update you guys on that SIM card, I will definitely do and maybe i do it in a form of a short video for youtube or maybe i'll just do a dedicated video talking about just the sim card connectivity but everything else here works excellent i'm really satisfied with the unit i want you guys to let me know down below what you think also i am using a brand new intro and outro let me know what you guys think about that as well i will be posting a new banner for the channel and i'm just doing a little bit of updates here to make things a little bit more exciting for the year 2023 don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this and i'll see you guys on my next one <laughs>